Uh, good morning to you, members of the press. Uh, we call you this morning uh, to explain to you some of the political developments that have been taking place in the last couple of months. Uh, on August 13, the extended presidency met. Extended presidency means the presidency and the parties signatory to the revitalized agreement. And the discussion on August 13 focused on two issues. One was the end of the roadmap and the upcoming elections. The second was the Tomeini consensus. But I want to focus on the end of the roadmap. Uh, we, as parties to the agreement, uh, presented our positions to the presidency on the elections. Uh, the SPLM presented that elections must take place on December 22nd, 2024. Other parties agreed with SPLM, and that is the Democratic Change Party, the National Agenda, the FDs, and the OPP were for the elections. Some members of SOA also were for elections. Some members of SOA were not. The IO said that they needed extension of the agreement, citing some of the articles in the agreement which were not implemented. Because there was no consensus, the presidency requested the parties again to go back and consult with the institutions concerned with elections and the mechanisms for peace implementation. And so we went back and conducted a number of meetings. On August 22nd, the high-level committee and the parties to the agreement met with these institutions, including the National Constitution Review Commission, the National Bureau of Statistics, the JDB, that is the Joint Defense Board, the JMCC, the National Constitution Amendment Committee, the Political Parties Council, the National Elections Commission. And they were asked to prepare the following. One, they were asked to tell, to report what is it that they have done? What is it that they are currently doing? And what is it they are planning? And how long will it take them to complete their work? And what are their challenges? So each of these institutions brought back reports to the high-level committee and the parties. It became clear that some agencies needed six months to complete their work, others need 12 months, others the longest time was 18 months by the National Constitution Review Commission. Uh, Commission. Based on that presentation, the most difficult challenge for them was lack of funding to do their work. And so they said, if we are to get money today, we can start our work and within 18 months they can finish the work. 18 months means 12 months and uh, one year and six months. We continued on our positions that it is still possible for us to conduct our elections. One major challenge came, and the challenge was that, okay, if we all agree now to go for elections December 2024, where is the funding? The institutions of finance were called to come and tell us whether they have the funds necessary to conduct the election this year. The answer for them was that they don't have money for elections. As a matter of fact, they don't have money to pay the salaries of nine months. And because of that reason, it became difficult now for us as SPLM to, to say to people that let us go for election when there's no money for it. That is what made the change 
for us to accept uh, 18 months extension as SPLM. Some other parties, they said 18 months is still small, they needed 24 months. The IO insisted on 26 months to 30 months. And so we could not agree. But in the end, of course, an average was taken by the leadership of this country. And the average was 24 months. 18 months for mechanism to do their work and six months to look for funds for the elections. Six months starts now. We must look for money between now and February 2025 so that these mechanisms can do their work and the elections can take place December 22, 2026. That is what was agreed by the presidency and that is what we accepted. Now for us as SPLM, as Secretary General, I find it difficult even to stand here to talk about extension because we have been for elections. And for that reason, I want to say to the members of SPLM and all our leaders that the party will never let you down. We will never compromise on SPLM principles. I even said in that meeting, that if I have the cows to sell in order for this election to happen, I can sell them. Because we are fully for this election. But if there is no money, what can we do? Of course, if we get money even today, we can go for elections. We know that the IO is ready to pull out and start fighting. But at least let us fight when we can do the elections. We cannot fight now. And we cannot do elections at the same time. And I don't think that our people, the people of South Sudan, when you see them on, on the road here, I don't think that any one of them is interested in fighting again. And so for that reason, we say let us accept the consensus, which was 24 months, and let, let us double our efforts to look for funds to support the elections. The fault. The party does not fund elections. SPLM cannot fund general elections for South Sudan. It is the government that finds money to fund elections. And so if there are people who think that it is SPLM that has compromised, we have not compromised. It is the issue that the government does not have the funds to run the elections. And if the government doesn't have the funds to run the elections, what is it that SPLM can do single-handedly to run the elections? So I call on our members to support the decision of the leadership that we must extend for 24 months, after which time we will go for the elections. I thank you very much. Thank you. We will be calling for a press conference. This is just briefing. We will be calling for a press conference where we can take your questions. So you want to take I have a question, you tell okay. me. Let me say three or two. Huh? Yes. Welcome. No problem. Thank Introduce you. Thank you, Moya from Felix from uh, iRadio. Previously, uh, before the extension that year is finished... Uh, before you finish iRadio, I want you to quote people correctly. <laughs> quote people correctly. You have been quoting, misquoting leaders in this country. This is wrong for you. Tell, okay. tell that to your management. Sorry. Go ahead now. All right. Uh, previously, the SPLM had uh, made it clear to the people of South Sudan that it won't accept any more extension. Even so that will not accept any more extension. And uh, being the ruling party, we want to understand what is it that will convince the people this time around that the SPLM in its own capacity, together with the other peace parties, will be able to reach uh, to uh, the demand of the people in terms of uh, the elections at the end of uh, the, the current extension. Our people are for elections. The SPLM is for elections. But the problem is that if the funds are not available, even our people, I think, will not accept that election. You have to have an election that has a semblance of credibility. If we say now, let's go for elections, and we cannot conduct elections in, within Juba here because of lack of funding. Elections means you have to have funds to register people. You have to have funds to go from one place to the other. If that is not there, then it will not be a credible elections, and for that reason, uh, we are calling on our people that peace is better than war. Because if we, if we go now fight I.O., 
what benefit does it give to anybody? So I don't think that it is correct. But let us give our people a chance uh, to live in peace and to go for an election that would be well-funded, that would be credible, that would be transparent, that will be believable by all our people and the international community. Thank you. Is there anybody else? Anybody? Yes, my name is James. Uh, you talk of... Uh, in the situation, please. You said one of the biggest challenges is the issue of funding. And uh, you resolve to mobilize for funds starting from now until February. What is the, uh, the, the arm on estimate arm on the people are? Well, I think the, 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 the mechanisms gave their estimates and the Elections Commission, uh, they have given their estimates. Uh, the amount that is stated, I think, is too high. Uh, people have to sit down again and see what is feasible. But what they have presented was, was, was too much as far as I'm concerned. They presented 800 million for, the, for all the mechanisms to do their work and for the elections to take place. Uh, but I think it is too high. We can always, you don't make an argument when you don't have money in your hand. Somebody can just say anything when you would say, but the real amount will be have to be negotiated by all the parties at some point. Last? Yeah. My name is Ed Joseph. Uh, Mr. Edgy, may you outline what are the current status of the endorsement program of the SPN? No, the endorsement we have remained with Upper Nile. And after the rainy season, we will have, we will have, the, uh, we will have the endorsement for Comrade Salva there. That's what we are waiting for. Thank you.